Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to Pop That Box. My name is Mike, and today I have another epic unboxing for you. But before that, I have some pops I want to show you that I got during my last hunt on Tuesday. If you follow my Instagram, you would have seen all these pops already. So if you haven't followed my Instagram, check it out. It's at Pop That Box. The link will be in the description. And at the end, I have some dope SDCC pops to show you. I hope you enjoy these pops, and uh, I'll see you after the intro. Welcome back, YouTube. So these first pops I got, there isn't a box to open, so let's just get started. Here's the first pop. From Fortnite, Frozen Raven, number 567. So I used to play Fortnite when it first came out because one of my favorite game genres is first person shooters. And I've been wanting this pop for a while. Next, from Pokemon, red, blue, and all the other colors, Cubone, number 596. Cubone was always one of my favorite Pokemon because he was always a meanie, you know, he's badass. But did you know he, he cries at night under the moonlight for his mother? And when I saw these, I had to get doubles because Diablo is my favorite game. From Diablo, number 600, Terio. This is a EB exclusive or GameStop exclusive. I played Diablo 1, 2, and 3, and I hope to play Diablo 4 soon whenever they finish it. So I had to get both of them because one staying out of the box. Well, really, I have to get another one because I took one out of the box. Yeah, his pop is dope. It looks like he's flying. He has these huge wings that are supporting him. And then his armor looks like it's metallic gold, right? That's that's pretty that's dope. So I hope you enjoy this pop out of the box. I really appreciate it, and I'll let you enjoy. All right, YouTube. So what do you think about those pop games? I thought they were pretty dope. So if you thought they were dope, could you hit the like button, please? And if you haven't subscribed yet, could you subscribe and turn on the notification button so you can get notified when I upload next? Let's move along to the unboxing. And for the first pop we have in this epic Funko Pop haul is Geralt of Rivia. This pop is from The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt number 149. So when I saw this for sale, I had to buy the whole set because The Witcher is another one of my all time favorites. I used to play this game all day when it first came out. I beat every side mission and every, every little quest you had to do. So when I saw the set, I had to buy it. Yeah, Geralt he's the ultimate badass. He's a beast slayer and a woman slayer, and he lives longer than the average person, so how could you not want to beat Geralt? Let's check out the second pop here. The next pop in this set is... Siri, number 150. If you haven't played the game yet, Siri is Geralt's daughter? Adoptive daughter. She's also a witcher. That's why he adopted her to train her. Their lives are intertwined by fate. And I don't want to say any more for the ones that haven't played the game. I don't want to ruin the storyline for you because the storyline is really dope. The game is more about the storyline and a skilled combat system. So you could spend hours, days, months on that. The third pop in the Witcher Wild Hunt collection is Triss, number 153. So let's say Triss is one of Geralt's best friends. She's a sorceress and she helps Geralt in some of these missions. Sometimes they go partying too. Yeah, the game the game is not not for children. I think I think it's rated 18A or something. So there's a lot of partying and a lot of murdering and slaying beasts. 
And for the last pop we have in the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt set is Yennefer. If you've seen the Netflix series of The Witcher 3, you'll know Yennefer and you'll know why she is a grail now. But if you haven't, you need to watch it because I don't want to tell you any more than that. But in the storyline, Yennefer is a sorceress and she's also Geralt's true love and the mother figure of Ciri. So you two, what do you think about those pops? Do you think they were epic? I thought they were pretty epic. The Witcher is one of my favorite games of all time. So I had to get all these pops. Alright, well let's move along to the last pops the pop games and for the first SDCC pop we have is from the Pokemon series number 580 Vulpix Flocked so if you watched my episodes before you know I love Pokemon so I had to get this flocked Vulpix I'm trying to collect all the flocked ones and I'm also trying to collect the 10 inch Pokemon pops so if you got some hookups hook me up please and the last one my favorite all the SDs. Yeah, I love it so much that there's another one right, right, right there. And here is the last pop games from SDCC for this episode is Super Tails and Super Silver. When I first saw this, I didn't know who Super Silver was because I haven't played Sonic the Hedgehog for years many years so i thought he was just sonic but i guess that's a new character so sonic the hedgehog was one of the first games i ever played probably the first game besides solitaire back in sega days i didn't have a nintendo i had a sega but it was dope we had similar games we didn't have mario but we had sonic so when i saw this i had to get it it's like they're super tails and super silver it's two pack and to me they're like super saiyan so that's even more dope the youtube what do you think about all these pops? I thought they were all dope. From Diablo to Fortnite, Pokemon, and the Witcher Collection. So if you enjoyed all these pops, could you please hit the like button? And if you haven't subscribed yet, could you subscribe and hit the bell please? It'll notify you when I upload next. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. And stay safe. And I'll see you in the next episode.